You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, eliminating leg veins, unsightly leg veins, and especially those that are causing pain. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Masudi. Dr. Masudi, welcome to the program. Hi, how are you doing? So for people that don't know your practice, you do more than just veins. So what are the different services you offer, and who's the typical patient? We do cosmetic, laser, and vein surgery. Okay. Uh, the cosmetic part, the patient can be from anywhere from 18 to 75, 85. One of the latest technologies is all therapy, which without the downtime, we can lift and tight the skin. All therapy? Yes. Okay. And this is the latest technology. We don't have to put the patient under. Uh, the procedure can be between half an hour to two hours, depending the areas we like to tight or lift, and the patient can go home without any downtime. The results are great. You can lift the eyebrow, you can lift the cheeks, you can lift the jawline, and also tighten the uh, necks. So we, the other procedures we do, we do uh, fillers. Filler we can do, in one hour we can change a person's face from, let's say, 60 to 50. We can Is lift that right? everything. Okay, okay. So in one hour, a person can come in and they're happy, they go home, they don't have the, the laugh line anymore, they don't have the droopy eyes anymore, and we can get rid of all the lines around, around the lips, and they 10 years younger. Veins. Okay, this is your thing. In fact, some of your patients call you Dr. Vein. Yes. Right? This is, uh, I mean, so this is your passion, getting rid of veins. I love the treatment of veins because people get rid of their pain. They might have pain all their life. They are 65 years old. They had pain for the past 25 years or so. And when they do the procedure, they go home and they don't have the heaviness, tiredness, or numbness in their legs anymore. And they can do their uh, daily activity better. They can stand, they can wash dishes, they can So uh, there's no cook. downtime? No. So on these big, ropey, varicose veins, right? Mm -hmm. They don't look good, but you say that they cause pain or tired, heavy legs. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you also told me that most of these people don't even connect the two. That means they don't realize it's making their legs heavy and tired. The, I'll let you tell The me. pain and the swelling is a very slow, progressive disease. People cannot connect. They say, when, let's say at the beginning they get they have uh, tiredness at the end of the day, maybe at 10 p.m. Okay. At the uh, disease progress, the, the, uh, the pain and the heaviness start earlier in the day. So maybe at the beginning it was 10 p.m., now it's 6 p.m. The legs are just what, tired? Tired, heavy, they want to put their legs up and they're very tired. My patient was a pharmacist, she came to our office, she had horrible legs, she couldn't uh, wear a skirt, and we did an ultrasound, we find out the underlying source of the problem, we did the EVLT, and we did some injection. What's EVLT? Endovenous laser treatment. Okay. Basically with uh, laser we seal off the uh, faulty vein, and also we did some injection, which is called sclerotherapy, and after a couple of weeks she came back, we did ultrasound, make sure she, all the veins are gone, and she was so happy she doesn't have pain anymore. So what are the symptoms, by the way, of, uh, okay, so visually they have veins that they see on their legs. What are the other symptoms besides heaviness? It's heaviness, tiredness, burning, and um, very tired, and nagging, they're throbbing, and sometimes they have restless leg syndrome at the middle of the night, and they have to wake up and basically massage their leg or walk around so they feel better. And in one afternoon, it's gone? Yes. Is that right? Yes. It's easy. It's pretty easy. The procedure takes only 15 minutes or up to 20 minutes, and patients are awake. We numb the veins uh, locally. And so there's no pain, I mean, or very little pain, discomfort a during the procedure? Discomfort. Like, if when you do a, um, a little pin pricks, mm -hmm. just the beginning when we're trying to numb the area, after that, there's no pain. Is that right? And, then they, and they walk home? Of course. I mean, that, I mean they could, we actually there's no downtime at all? There's no downtime. They actually, we recommend for them to walk at least 20 minutes right before they go home, actually. So what about insurance? Like, Medicare, Medicaid covers this. Yes. Is that right? It's very important for, this is a medically necessary procedure, and people who have problems, 
they can't work or they lose time at work or they're tired and they cannot do their daily activities. So in most insurances, as long as we have the right documentation, they accept it. Since we've talked on the telephone, I'm, you know, we're here in San Diego, I'm, I'm looking at people's, there's veins all over the place, like big veins. Mm -hmm. Is it because they don't know how easy it is to get rid of them? Is it their fear of the pain? They don't know it's covered by insurance? Multiple different factors. Number one, it's been there for a long time, so they forgot the cause of the pain. Sometimes they see the vein and they cannot associate these pains that is because of those varicose veins. And the other reason, the old fashion of doing it, they're actually stripping the vein and people had to stay in the hospital and the, the, a lot of uh, doctors didn't like to do the procedure because the downtime was worse and the complication was worse. Now the procedure is only 15 minutes to 20 minutes and patient can walk home and there's no hospitalization, there's no scarring and people are much happier. So they don't know it's covered, they don't know they can go home right away. There's multiple different factors that they don't go to doctors. So on the consultation, what, and by the way, do you see these leg veins when you're out and about? Or most people don't A lot of wear people shorts. who have varicose veins, they cover themselves up. And they, they're always telling me, I can't wear shorts, I cannot wear my skirts. And one of the things that I always hear, I want to wear shorts, I want to go swimming, I can't wear my swimsuit anymore. Is that right? Yeah. And it's fast. So you, you're just, I mean, so you're injecting uh, a laser into the area and then it goes through the vein and collapses it? Or what's we, happening? We actually numb the local part of the skin. We introduced, introduced the laser into the vein under ultrasound guidance. We go all the way through the junction. Actually, we put a gap of three centimeters before the junction that goes to the deep system. When we collapse the vein by putting anesthesia, we collapse in the vein, we milk out the blood out of that vein, and we redirect the blood from that area. And after we do that, we start the laser, and the st laser seals off the vein from inside. Okay, and, and does that keep it from coming back? 98% success rate with this procedure. And we do a follow-up uh, plan with the patient. We make sure that every vein that we're trying to close is closed and shut down and there's no return usually. So people in their 70s, yes, 80s, I mean, if you live long enough, are you going to get a little bit of have these problems? Definitely. 40% of the population in the world, they have varicose vein at one point of their life. And these women or men, they think it's just part of aging that their legs are tired all the time. That's that they're 70 true. plus, Even my which mom, is young today. Exactly. Even my mom always told me, oh, I have leg pain. I mean, I was a medical student and she thought, oh, I'm getting older. When we did the procedure it was uh, more than 10 years ago. Now she's almost 83, 84 years old and she still walks a lot during the day. She doesn't get tired. She doesn't have to wear compression stockings and she's pretty active and she doesn't get tired when she's cooking or washing dishes or anything So like she that. had like varicose veins? She had a lot of pain actually. She okay. didn't see the big veins. She had a lot of smaller veins she would see, but she was very tired and she had a lot of swelling in her legs. And you had to talk her into it? Not really. Okay, so when she, well how soon do they feel different? Like, so your mother, which After is After the first day, you start feeling better, but usually there's a little swelling. After the first week, they feel much better. And she, she basically uh, now walks at least two or three hours a day. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, you brought some photos. What are we looking at? Okay, this is a patient had actually had a lot of pain, but she had a couple of ropey veins also. So we got the source of the problem. We closed the underlying issue, which is called, the vein is called Great Saphenous Vein, or GSV for short. And after doing the endovenous laser treatment, we did a couple of injections also. And this is the picture after a month uh, after nice. the procedure. The appearance is amazing, but more important than that, they don't have pain anymore. They can do their daily activity. Uh, they can uh, play with their grandkids and they, Basically, they have more time uh, walking in at the end of the day after dinner. They, a lot of people I know, 
They don't walk after dinner. Now after dinner, they can walk one hour or so. Okay, what do they say when it's all over? Like, and you know, I wish I started earlier. I wish I did it 10 years ago. I had this pain all my life. Now, now I have to get, you know, that, when we can do the next vein, when we can do the, the other leg, usually. Is this the newest technology, the laser you're using when it comes to eliminating these veins? The, the laser has been around for past 10, uh, 15 years. But for past three, four years, this is the latest technology, which the laser is very focused and uh, doesn't have as much collateral damage. Basically, there is less bruising. So the lasers have improved. Exactly. Okay. So if we only focus the inner lining of vein gets closed, we don't boil the uh, blood, so there's no bruising. Because I heard in the old days, uh, well, old days, five years ago, I had a vein doctor, and he said that it can be very painful. Maybe it was 10 years the ago. The procedure? It used to be painful, and you're saying now there's during no the- There's no pain during the procedure. Okay. We seal off the, uh, the vein. We collapse the vein first with the anesthesia. It's called Tomesin anesthesia. And I have an extra technique I do it on uh, most of my patients, actually on all of my patients. We cool down the uh, tumescent. So when we cool down the tumescent, we put it in the freeze. Uh, we put it in the fridge, actually. Okay. And basically, we call, uh, basically we separate the skin from the vessel so there's no heat passing through that area and patients don't have pain at all. This is another patient of mine, and she had a lot of pain, and she was very tired. She had, she couldn't walk. She was basically almost depressed. And uh, that's got to be unusual, by the way. No, that. we see this often. A lot of people don't show it because they are, you know, ashamed of it. But uh, we see this very often. Are they even surprised? Like, do they tell you? This is the worst you've ever seen? That's exactly what they, I hear. I said, I see more worse, actually. I've seen much worse than this, and we could uh, get rid of all the veins. So when you see this, in your mind, do you think this is going to be easy? Of course. The, the, the bigger the vein is, the more symptoms they have, I'm happier because I can get rid of the pain, and it's more substantial change than the smaller veins. And this patient is the one that actually uh, saw me in a um, car wash and she came and hugged me. So, <laughs> and this, that, that's amazing for me. If someone if recognize you and come and hugs me and say, I'm so happy. So for this patient, at, uh, before she was depressed, she couldn't do any of these things. Now she is more interactive with her family. Also she take care of her father who's uh, bed bound and she goes there and basically nursing her. For her, we only took two treatments. We did the laser for the underlying disease, and we did some phlebectomy, and she was done. Not that they want to do this on their lunch hour, but they could do this on their lunch hour. Basically, because it takes uh, you about 15 minutes for each la uh, laser. Yes, it's amazing. People come in, they go out. We do these procedures so fast, and people don't. At the end of the procedure, they think, "Oh, is it done?" It's so amazing, they are so, see, they didn't have pain, and they say how fast the procedure was, and they can go back to the daily activity. So if you have a PPO, Medicare, Medicaid covers exactly. to get rid of your veins. Of course. And they'll have more energy. Can, I mean, what's your oldest patient? The oldest patient I had, she was 92 years old. And actually, she's still coming to me in, uh, for follow-up just to make sure everything is fine. And she brings us... Um, orange and figs <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have to see us anymore but she brings up all those uh fruits for us so she comes in and she has a lot of pain discomfort for many years we did a laser which is called endovenous laser treatment and after a couple of procedures and she's happy she can do the daily activity and she basically she has a little garden at home she picks all the oranges and figs and she brings it to us. Is that right? <laughs> okay, so with her, did she complain about pain? During the procedure? Yeah. No. During the procedure is very, I make sure, if they, even if there's a little discomfort, we talk to the patient during the procedure, but because we numb the whole vein, usually there's no so pain. So if you have restless legs, yes. it could be a vein problem. Mo yes. So anybody watching this, if you have tired legs, mm -hmm. like uh, burning legs, and you could visually see a couple of varicose veins. Chances are, 
that's causing your pain? Most probably, yes. There could be other reasons, but 80% of the time is varicose veins. I have a patient uh, who's a truck driver, and he came from San Diego. He had ulcer in his legs. and A what? An ulcer? ulcer. Okay. A skin ulcer in his legs, and he couldn't uh, drive anymore. He had an ulcer in his ankle, and uh, he had gauze. When I opened the gauze, I saw pus coming out, and it was infected. So after the cleaning the... Uh, the ulcer, we planned for the laser procedure. He came back. When we did the laser procedure, uh, the ulcer closes down faster and doesn't come back. After two months, he came back. The ulcer was completely closed, and he could go back to his uh, daily activity. He, he was a truck driver. Now he could go back and uh, drive long distances. Now, for, for insurance or Medicare, yes. Medicaid, do they need, can they call you directly or do they need a referral from their primary care physician? They don't need a referral. So they can call you directly? Yeah, they can call directly. They, as long as they have the issue, we diagnose them, we plan it, and if it's necessary, necessary to do it right away, we do. If we can uh, give other treatments like compression stalking, walking, losing weight, we recommend those first. Then, if it's necessary, we do the procedures. Okay, this is another patient. You don't see very big bulging veins coming out, but because it has a lot of uh, spider veins and reticular veins around it also, and the leg looks different, but doesn't look one bulging vein. He has a lot of... Is that also common, by the way, this? Oh, yes. Really? Yeah. So th these people are all over the place? Yes. This is a very interesting patient. Uh, basically, th uh, this patient is uh, actually, he has a restaurant like one block from our office. For lunch, I went to this restaurant and uh, he has very good tasting uh, food. But I usually wear scrubs uh, during the day. I have my name on it and my title, what I do. And he asked me, uh, do you do vein procedures? I have a lot of varicose veins. We talked about it. He showed me. He had it also. He pulled his up his pant leg right there yeah, in the he, restaurant. He, yes. Okay. He was the chef, and he was the owner of the restaurant. And uh, he showed me his leg, and the veins are so, it was so bad, and uh, I can't describe it. It's, well, it's right here. This is his <laughs> leg right here? Yes. Okay. It was horrible. He had a lot of pain. He... He wasn't going after the look. He stands a lot. He basically stands almost 14 hours a day. So he and told you, I, my legs hurt. He had a lot of pain, heaviness, throbbing. He couldn't stand. He had to sit and put his legs up. Even though he was very compression stocking, even with compression stocking, he had a lot of pain. He couldn't, uh, he had to hire other people to do the work and he couldn't stand. So when you saw these in the restaurant, did you say, I could do that? Of course. Okay. Was he skeptical? Are people skeptical sometimes? Uh, sometimes, okay. but he wasn't. He trusted me right away. Right. And he came uh, after. He came to my office. Uh, again, we planned the procedure. And after he had both legs um, and basically had four big va bag, bad veins and also a lot of smaller bad veins. So we did the laser four times. We did two to three injections for him, and uh, I got free food for almost a year. <laughs> is that right? Th that after is incredible. Yes. Looks like a different leg. Mm -hmm. It is a different leg. He can stand. He, he, so what does he say Like uh, when it's all done? Is he saying, I can't believe I waited so long? Because he, he probably was like this for 10 years. He, maybe more. He, he was like, he loves me. Every time I go there, he brings everything. He puts the plates for me. He makes di something different for me every time. He, he's so ecstatic and so happy that he doesn't have pain anymore. Uh, this is a guy who's 75 years old and he g goes hiking all the time. Uh, he loves hiking. And this guy is, um, comes in, he says, I love hiking, but I don't go hiking as much. My leg gets sold up. I can't do it anymore. And so again, we did a um, venous closure. This is another kind of procedure. It's similar to EVLT. Is it a laser or? It's a radio frequency, does the same thing. 
Okay. But uh, at that time, this is um, almost 10 years old uh, picture. And uh, he, he was saying that I used to go hiking every other day or so. He, now he goes hiking every, every week or so. Still, when he goes, he, he gets tired. He doesn't go as far. After the, we did the procedure, uh, he feels much better. He, now he goes hiking every day almost. He's older. He, that's, he, that's what he loves that's to do. That's his thing. Yeah. He, and he refers so many patients to me, and it's amazing. And he feels much better. Uh, and he doesn't have the swelling anymore. And uh, he doesn't ha even have to wear compression stocking as much. Now, are there a lot of people wearing compression stockings that have a vein problem that could be taken care of right away? A lot of my patients, before they come to me, they've been wearing compression stocking for 10 years, five years or so, and they're tired of it. They cannot wear it. They just want to get rid of the uh, compression stocking. A lot of people, they say, we got our compression stocking from our doctor 10 years ago. It, they hate their compression stocking. Really? And they don't want it to wear it. But after this procedure, they don't have to wear it as much. So like 80% of your patients, exactly. you said. Don't have to wear compression stockings no, at all because there's no need to. for them because their legs aren't They feel tired better. Or... They're not tired as much. And they're, they can do their daily activity and they don't, their leg does, doesn't swell up anymore. This is another patient. Uh, he's a dentist. He stands for a long time. He's right now he's around 55 or so. And that's, young, I mean, that's young to have a leg like that, right? Is that unusual? This is not unusual for people who have uh, varicose vein. Really? Okay. Yes. So 55-year-old guy comes in like this. He's a dentist. He's a dentist. Uh, he has to wear compression stock in basically all his uh, working uh, days. And he, he hates compression stocking. So his legs hurt? Is that he, what drove him to do yes, this? Yes. He has a lot of pain. He can't sit or stand for a long time. And every time he has to massage his legs and he, can't, he comes in and we, uh, we did ultrasound, we find the source of the problem. Now, uh, we did a procedure, uh, it's called clatter vein. And this is right one week after the procedure. Wow. Basically, we didn't do a two-step procedure, this is a one-step procedure. And not only we did a laser, we did foam sclerotherapy also. So in this way, we, we get rid of a lot of veins in one setting. Okay. And we didn't have to go to the hospital. There's no anesthesia. Uh, and the patient feels much better. There's not much of bruising. And uh, How different is it for him? I mean, what does he tell you as far as... Like now he can work much more longer. He doesn't have to step out and walk. And he doesn't have to massage his legs as much. Uh, he's much happier in life. He can do more activity. And now he can uh, play with his son much more. He goes, plays basketball, and also uh, he can go to the gym. He, a lot of times people, when they do a lot of heavy lifting, the veins bulges more after this procedure, but we have to give it a couple of weeks or so. They can go back and do their uh, lifting, exercise, but, uh, you know, Basketball, they can do their daily activity and exercises. But what if people have varicose veins and have no symptoms? They say, I'm fine. Is that, do they just think they're fine or they don't realize they could even they, be better? They cannot connect these two issues together. But a lot of times they say, yeah, at the end of the day, I put my legs up. But they don't associate putting the legs up is because of the leg pain. A lot of people, they're moving their legs a lot at night. They think it's restless leg syndrome is a more nerve damage, even though it's not, our body gets programmed to move the, the leg. For circulation? To, to move the blood back to the heart. And they associate that, or their doctor told them, which this was a damage to the nerves. They didn't say it's a varicose vein. So a lot of people that say, because this problem comes slowly and gradually over years, they don't associate the vein problem with the pain they're having or the discomfort they're having or the lack of motivation going to, for a walk. Uh, I have a patient that um, she was rest leg. At the end of the day, 
at the end of the night, she had to put her legs off the um, bed. bed and she had to move it a lot. Or she had to step out and walk. And even she In the went, middle of the night, she had to middle get Middle of the up? night, she had to. Really? And she had to massage her leg or she would get cramps in her leg sometimes. And other doctors, they give some pain medication uh, or pain medication related to a nerve. And a lot of people think restless leg syndrome is a nerve problem. And they give them uh, nerve medications to calm the nerves down. All right. And even they give them some magnesium, calcium. Those are good. Those are very good to have if someone has lack of magnesium. But even those didn't work for them. So, so she found you. When we uh, uh, did the ultrasound, we find out that she has a bad vein. Even though it didn't look like a lot of varicose veins, she didn't have a lot of bulgy or spider veins. We find out she had venous insufficiency. And we did the endovenous laser treatment. After a month, she came back and she didn't have any episodes of restless leg syndrome anymore. She would tell me that she falls asleep during the day when she's driving. Because she wasn't sleeping. She wasn't sleeping at night. And a lot of doctors, they thought she has some sleep apnea or anything like that. But in reality, she couldn't sleep all night and she was awake and she was moving her leg. Now she can sleep better. She's not sleepy during the day and she's much happier. The procedure is only 15 minutes. At the end of the procedure, she's happy. She said, okay, let's do the other leg. We don't do that most often but they, they're comfortable during the procedure. When they come back, they don't have, a, they don't have bruising as much. They, they can do their daily activity and they want to do the other leg right away. And they, they had pain for so long, they didn't know what to do with it. They were wearing compression stocking. A lot of people do not like to wear compression stocking because they have arthritis. So once you get rid of these veins, you don't have to wear the compression stuff. So in. that's gone. We're out of time. Final message though. Somebody watching this, they have noticeable varicose veins. Their spouse, their partner has varicose veins. But for whatever reason, they're afraid. They're putting it off. What do you tell them? Come in. We're going to do free vein screening for them. And in half an hour or 20 minutes, we find the source of the problem. We educate them about the problem. And we guarantee so they get, they get rid of the pain. All right. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Very thank good. Thank you very much. And, and, and these photos are on your website as well. Of course. Okay, good. Thanks again. Thank You've you. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.